How long has it been since it ran? 1957 or something like that. But your one wish was to drive the car. They fixed up the car. We're all here. I say you get in the car, and if it burns, it's lived a good life. Could you hear it when we were starting it over there? I heard it, but I didn't believe it. Hey guys, Jason with Fat Fender Garage, and you've probably seen us talk about this 1924 Dodge Brothers uh, touring sedan. Uh, all original, very cool, original pleather, I'm not sure what it is, plastic, leather, combination, but original paint, everything. So this belongs actually to a good friend of mine. Uh, he bought this when he was 16 years old. He's now 88, and so this has been in his life longer than pretty much anything else that's alive today and so his wife as kind of a, a surprise for him uh, decided that she wanted to surprise him by getting this running again let him hear it as he's getting you know pretty aged out and wanted to make sure he can see this thing one more time uh, running and, and driving and, and working and experience that those sounds and those emotions we're hoping that it brings back a flood of emotions uh, if you're a car guy and you know what it's like to listen to the motor rev um, and what that does to you and makes you feel inside, you'll get it. I sit there and my wife's like, what are you listening to, engines all the time? I'm like, well, yeah, I like the sound of it and the way it makes me feel. And she's like, turn it down and get rid of it. But for him, I imagine when he hears this, this will bring back some emotions and feelings that he has memories that will flood into his life when he hears that sound and he hears the horn. The horn still works. Uh, you can kind of see, so we got that, we got, uh, you know, the lights that still kind of kick on and work, check that out. He is such a gentle uh, individual, super kind, and his wife's kind of really excited. Uh, to be honest with you, she would have got rid of this thing probably 60 years ago, but it's hung around, it's been all over the United States with them, and almost like one of the kids, and so we're excited to go check it out. Follow us as we go and make the surprise. We're gonna go right there. Just past the trampoline. Yeah. Everyone get the alcohol on. So they're they're sitting on the porch. He's, he's not there. He's not here. He, he's he's there, but he's probably just sitting in a chair. Huh. Yeah. Okay.
got it running. Running. Miracle number two. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think it's wonderful. <laughs> you do that? Well, shop. we did, yes. A lot of these guys right here worked on it. it. Took quite a bit of work, but she's running. I'm not sure how well it's gonna go anywhere. It's old. Oh, yeah. It's old. So is this guy. <laughs> 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 new starter motors, new power wires. We had to go through all your carburetors and get all the little pieces we could. New spark plugs and new plug wires. And we did get this fixed and we did put water in it, but the motor didn't like the water because the head gasket is leaking. As you can see, it kind of is leaking around because it's been sitting for, how long has it been since it ran? 1957 or something like that. 57? <laughs> I, dro I drove it from Springerville down here by myself uh, when I was 16 years old. He was 16 and okay, so that was 1947. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. Grandpa, let's put him in yeah. it. Your one wish was to drive the car. They fixed up the car, we're all here. I say you get in the car and if it burns, it's lived a good life. <laughs> it's lived a good life, that's Chad. How much did you pay for this when you bought it? $135. $135. <laughs> How fast did this thing go when you were on the highway? It'd go 55. It'd do 55, no problem, yeah. huh? Yeah. Wow. This is the Bat Fender right. Garage. <laughs> I've seen that car coming around that corner, you're like, what is going on? How'd that thing get going? Could you hear it when we were starting it over there? I heard it, but I didn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your straw? I know, I do need, I do. This is James. 
He is our local, uh, what would you call James? Dairy farmer from Wisconsin? Dairy farmer from Wisconsin. <laughs> Might be our only college graduate around here. What the heck is college? MIT? I thought that was a restaurant in Kansas. <laughs> MIT. The Milk Institute. Milk Institute. Of <laughs> that school is expensive for a reason.